channel and hello if you're new make sure you subscribe before you leave and click the little bell button right next to the subscribe button that way you're always notified of all my upcoming videos in today's video I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how to make your own cleansing water at home now this is mine that I've made myself but I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make your own cleansing water and the reason cleansing water is so good is because it removes all negative energy around your environment your room your house your body your energy it's really good to remove all the blocks and it also lifts the vibrations in the area to a more positive state. So we're gonna be doing that today. Um, but before we get started, I wanted to let you guys know that I do have a more potent technique that I use to prepare these sprays. Um, I charge them with crystals and mantras and a special ingredient. And in the end of this video, I'm gonna show you guys a clip of my charging setup. And those sprays that I use when I charge them, I have available to purchase in my store, which you guys can check in the link down below. What you're gonna need is roses and sage, and then you're going to need water and a pot to boil the water in because you wanna make sure that your water is hot. And then you're going to need spray bottles. And if you're interested in the ones that I have, uh, I got these on Amazon and you can find it in the link down below. Okay, so I have here my pot of boiling water. What you guys want to do is bring the water to a boil and then turn the heat off. Now your water is ready to use and then next we're going to be adding all of this ingredients in there. Um, I have my roses and sage here and basically what I'm going to be doing is just adding it all in there. take a lid and you want to put the lid right on top now what you're gonna do is let this sit until it cools down completely and then we're gonna be ready to pour all of this into our jars once your water is all cooled down your roses should turn into a really light pink color or like a white color and that's when you know that the water has soaked up all of the rose and the sage and now your water is ready to pour into the spray bottles what you want to do is take out all the roses and the sage from the water so it's easier for you to pour. So basically what you're doing is kind of just straining everything out. Okay, so we're ready to fill up our bottle. Once everything is cooled down, you want to uncap the bottle. And you, there's several different ways you could fill your bottle up, but for me, it's easier just to dunk it just because I have a huge pot filled with my mixture. So I'm just gonna dunk it. And the reason you wanna use roses is because humans vibrate at a certain frequency and roses have a higher vibration than humans do. So automatically, naturally, it just brings your vibration up and sage clears away any and all negative energies. And it also lifts the vibrations and clears just anything, any thoughts that you have that aren't serving you, and any like evil eye, sage is really good for that. Um, so this spray is all natural and you can use it anywhere you want to. It's perfectly safe to use it um, in the air, around your pets, you can use it um, on yourself, and you can store it in the fridge if you want to, or you can store it in the bathroom, the living room, your kitchen, your bedroom, anywhere, um, and you're all done with your cleansing spray. Okay, so I already explained a little bit about what this spray is used for, but I want to go into more detail and just tell you guys more about it, more about what it's used for and more about what it's made of. Okay, so the reason that this spray is so powerful, you can use it anywhere in your house, around your body, you can even use it in your car, um, is because the ingredients that are in here, roses and sage, and then I do put a secret ingredient in my own, but you don't have to put that in there if you make it at home. Um, Everything in here is very powerful. It holds high vibrations that clear out negative energy in the space around you. And it also lifts the vibrations around you to a more positive state. It clears out the negative energy and it attracts in better things for your life. It removes blockages that are in your life. It removes negativity. So basically it clears the road and clears the path for new, better things to come into your life. Um, and then the mantra that I personally infuse in here is very powerful. It's a mantra that's said over and over, over a thousand times and it's infused into the water. So water holds a lot of energy. Water is like a really big absorber of the energy around it. If you guys are familiar with the rice experiment, you can watch it on YouTube or research it online. But the rice experiment is basically showing you how water absorbs energy. 
So that's why I like to infuse the waters and the sprays with the mantras. Um, it infuses into the water and then when you spray it into the environment around you, it changes the air around you, it changes the energy around you, whatever negative energy was there, negative thoughts or negative vibrations was there, the spray clears it away. So that's why these are really powerful, especially the ones that I charge myself are extra powerful just because they're infused with so much energy. So I just wanted to explain briefly about this and if you guys are interested, then I will leave my store linked down below where you guys can check out more information. The reason we use roses is because roses are one of the highest vibrating living things on the planet. And humans vibrate at a certain frequency and the roses vibrate on a higher frequency than humans do. And that's why I like to use roses in my cleansing spray because it just lifts all the vibrations to a better positive state. Now, why do I use sage? Sage has been used for centuries since ancient times to clear out negative energy. Native Americans use it to smudge. Um, you can find it in so many different cultures where sage is used to clear out negative energy. And also, it, it's a very powerful herb in clearing out blockages. If there's like a pathway in your life that's blocked, whether you're like sometimes you feel like you're working really hard towards something, but you're not getting farther, Sage is a really powerful herb to kind of push the energy through and just remove that block. So that's why I included sage in this spray as well. Okay guys, so the next clip that I'm about to show you is my own charging setup on how I charge my own sprays. So um, what I'm going to be showing you guys is like a quick sneak peek of everything that I use, the mantras I use, stones that I use, and my overall setup. So the mantra that I'm using is a Lord Shiva, a very powerful mantra to remove like any and all negative energies, entities, spirits, whatever, um, negative thoughts, negative anything. So it's very powerful for that. So that's what you're going to be hearing in the background. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a quick glimpse of my charging setup. <laughs> guys so this is what your bottles should look like once it's all done and bottled these are all ready to use now if you guys are interested in the ones that I charge myself I will leave my website link down below you guys can go check it out and thank you guys so much for watching make sure you check out the other videos on my channel I have a bunch of DIY face masks and hair masks and if you guys are interested in how I cut and color my hair I have videos on that too um, I have a bunch of oil videos and stay tuned and subscribe to my channel because I have a bunch of new and fun things coming out for you guys in the future too thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next one bye